near our apartment there is a neighborhood called Sugumo and this neighborhood is famous for like um, a lot of like old people come here to buy like old people stuffs. One of the weird things is notable is they buy red underwear but let's not get into that too deep. Just let that hang there and let you wonder. Um, but in this little neighborhood there is a gyoza restaurant that is pretty famous that I've heard people talk about before, but we've never been here before even though it's like 10 minutes from our apartment. And it's called Fight Gyoza, which is kind of a, a name that just sticks out to me. Like, I see them, it's like, why would they call it that? But it's got kind of a cool atmosphere and maybe they're just trying to like paint that atmosphere with that name a bit and, and it sort of works, honestly. Um, so the restaurant is a pretty small area and it's fairly popular so there's a lot of people in here and you're sitting at um, tables with people that you don't know and the reason that everybody has come is because their gyoza is done in a style that I don't think it's unique to the specific restaurant but it's definitely not like the normal way that gyoza is usually made so gyoza is usually kind of like a Chinese dumpling type of thing that is either steamed or pan fried and um, inside of it there would be like meat or like, little vegetables, um, onions or like uh, scallions and things like that get put into it usually. But at this particular place they make it and they deep fry it in a wok and it makes the whole the whole gyoza shell like a little bit different and i still even though i'm in the restaurant i've never had it but they've delivered some that we've ordered and i'm going to try it now and we'll see how it is and it, it looks pretty amazing so we ordered the set that only comes with five but some people have sets that come with like 15. so i don't know if maybe we um i don't know if maybe we under ordered but uh Compared to, <laughs> compared to what I have, other people have got like this, this boat of gyoza that I'm kind of jealous of. Um, so they have a, you make your own sauce at gyoza restaurants, and this is a vinegar. This is, you know what this is? This is a soy sauce. It's like a soy sauce. And then this is like a um, spicy oil mm. that you mix together into your own little dish. And um, you do it to your own liking. So you can add more or less spiciness or more or less vinegar, depending on like what your particular interests are. So this is the actual gyoza, and this is one of them. And I'll bite it open so we can kind of see what's in the inside. So we've gone through phases where we've eaten gyoza too much and then been like, mm, I don't really want it anymore. But it's been a while since I've had it and it's amazing. So as you can tell, we had our gyoza and the soup just came. Things just sort of come out and staggered like <laughs> Staggered like um, stages. It doesn't all. They don't bring food all out at the same time. Just fine. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, so the, this gyoza is very well-rounded in flavor, and um, it's kind of like a minced meat, and then the vegetables and stuff that are inside. Um, and again, the unique part of this is that the shell is the whole thing has been deep fried, and it's got a little bit of a crunch to it that is unique to any goods I've ever had before. It's not like a it's not like a Dorito crunch. It's like a corn dog. Weird. Yeah, it's like a corn dog crunch, yeah. That's a really good that's a really good point. Mmm. Yeah, and there's no like different flavors of gyoza or anything that you can order here. It's just you order gyoza. So it's like, this, this table is struggling that size. So this is just a, um, a chahan, which is just fried rice. And so this whole thing comes as a set, and it was like 890 yen, so like eight bucks or something. And uh, I guess I'll try this, since it's here, yeah? It's fried rice, it's good fried rice, but I mean, even the world's best fried rice is just fried rice, am I right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is cool. I would definitely come back to fight gyoza, I think. Um, let's see, I want to see you try some gyoza. Because you've been tired of gyoza, yeah? Yeah, I'm still tired of gyoza. I had gyoza at a party on a Wednesday, and it was um, boring. 
and undercooked and not warm. But this is looking pretty darn good. The corn dog idea that I was thinking of, I had, they have these mini corn dogs that are at the supermarket, and it, this is very, very similar. Like, just a deep fried breading on the outside and gyoza meat on the inside, which I think there's is pork and onion. And you can see that my juice that I made is much different than Eric's. I don't really care so much for the soy sauce. I'm a big, big vinegar fan, so I go hard on the vinegar and the spiciness. Mm. It's not as bready as it looks. That was a surprise to me. It still kind of feels more the gyoza comes in a thin like pastry sheet and they fill that pastry sheet with the meat and then they pinch it around and it's still that thin pastry but when you look at it it actually looks like it's breading but it's not breading at all it's quite thin as you can see I think that the deep frying just causes it to puff up like a balloon and just have air on the inside as opposed to breading so I thought it was going to be super filling for this, but it's not. It is just your normal gyoza with a good crunch. So you're saying we come back here next time to get 20? Yeah. I have another theory on why they named this place Fight Gyoza. The style of gyoza that we had is called White Gyoza. And I think maybe it's just kind of like, because they kind of sound the same. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. It was good. <laughs> hey everyone, we have a Patreon page and we'd really like for you to check it out. It'll allow you to contribute to us and make these crazy adventures we've been going on continue and get even better. So we'd really love for you to follow the link and learn more about Patreon and us. Go for it. Let's adventure.